Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to buy amp your speakers using the TXNR626 and a pair of front, main, left and right speakers. So the first thing we actually have to do is to remove the black inserts that will actually prevent us from plugging in banana plugs. And it's quite simple, I tend to use a wood screw, half a turn and then just pull and add it to come. The actual connections we'll be using are the ones marked for front left and right and the surround back front high but we're going to be using it in bi-amp mode and this is going to allow us to fully connect up to a main left and right speaker. So first up is actually the connection to the amplifier. Here I've got a banana plug. Now I actually prefer this particular style of plug, some people call them Z plugs because they actually contact across the whole of the inside of the socket on the speaker terminal. Now I'm connecting this onto the right hand front channel and then I'm going to connect my other set of speaker leads to the right hand on the bi-amp section or the surround back front high channel. And now I've actually connected two sets of cables that I'm going to use on the right hand speaker cable. And now we're all connected at the amp ends, I'm now going to actually connect my loose ends into a speaker. Now the speaker I'm using for today is made by a company called Image Audio. They're a UK company and they've kindly lent me a pair of speakers so I can show this demonstration. But now to the business end. Now as you can see on the screen we've got two sets of terminals linked together. Now normally across all the speakers the lower set of terminals will be connected to the bass driver and the upper set of terminals will be connected to the high frequency or the tweeter. Now the first thing we need to do is to actually remove the bridging links off the speaker. If we don't, you could cause damage to the amplifier. And now the links are gone, we're ready to actually connect up the speakers to the amplifier. And what I'm going to do here is actually use the front marked speakers. I'm actually going to run to the bass drivers. Now technically there's no reason why I should use the front right or in the bi amp mode the surround back right because the signal from the amplifier is exactly the same over both outputs the only difference happens inside the speaker where the crossover separates the relevant frequency for the relevant driver and then with our other amplifier channel which is the right hand surround back I'm going to run to the high frequencies and then that's it. The actual speaker is configured in a by-wire configuration but we are by amplifying it from the amplifier. The sonic benefit of this is the fact that each drive unit now has its own dedicated amplifier. Therefore dynamics, openness and detail are greatly improved. Now mechanically we're all actually connected now. We've got the amplifier connected to the bass part of the speaker and on the second set of channels we've got the tweeters connected to the amplifier. And then all you need to do is mimic the setup on the other speaker. And that's it. We're all actually done as far as the hookup's concerned. Now we need to actually change the settings within the setup of the TXNR626. So we're going to setup, we go down to speaker setup, press enter, then we need to select speaker settings, Make sure the impedance is set correctly, and you can do this between 4 to 6 ohms. If your speakers are 8 ohms, please put it on 6. Then we move down once more, and you have speaker type normal. This will now be incorrect. You need to select bi-amp. Once you've done that, the TXNR626 will now run in a 5.1 mode, but bi-amping the main left and right. And that's it. You're done. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.